I want to share with you some tips and tricks on how to do PowerPoints. I know many of you have done them before, but there's a couple things that I want to share with you, particularly about this, this, um, this project. So the first thing is the components for the PowerPoint. And this is very important that you put the slides in a particular order. This will just help me grade it faster, but also when everything's arranged in the same way, it'll be easier for others to read them as well. So this is the order of the slides, and I would like you to label them as such. So, you know, every, the top of them is going to be very clear as to what part of the PowerPoint we are reading. Okay, so that goes right along with all of these sections. Definitely want to choose images that are easy to um, see, so we don't want anything too blurry. What do I mean by that? Well, here's a picture of something that's really small that I got off the internet, but if I wanted to make it really big for my presentation, you can see how the word starts to get pixelated and blurry. Because the image online is very small, you have to keep the image small in your presentation, or it will start to get distorted. Also, when you want to move an image, um, make it larger or smaller, you don't want to stretch it from the sides. It distorts the image. You want to make the picture bigger or smaller by dragging the corner, and that will make it bigger or smaller, but keep it within the proportion. So that's not what you want to do. Okay, you want to do it from the corner. Okay? So that's what I mean by having pictures easy to see. Another thing is font colors and sizes. I know that you can superimpose words on some pictures, but that becomes really hard to see all the words all of the time. And sometimes putting words on top of the picture, you know, it doesn't actually make the picture appealing if you can't see the picture. So um, sometimes it's better to have the picture on one side and the words on the other. And even though you can superimpose words on top of pictures, it's not always the best idea. For every, um, for every quote that you give, so out of eight to 10 slides, you have to give three to four quotes about the organization. And for each quote, you want to give a hyperlink. A hyperlink is a bunch of words that you put down instead of a giant URL. What do I mean by this? If I go online, let's say I got information from this web page. I would copy and paste the URL, and I would insert a hyperlink. So let me go to another page so I can show you. So I would insert a hyperlink, and I would put the web address of that page down, but I would choose the words to display here. So now, instead of having you know, a giant long URL address, you have the words like click here to learn more, watch this video, something like that. It's a lot more professional. So you have your information and then you have your hyperlink that brings us right to that web page. And that's important because if people want to learn more, they can go directly to that web page to learn more. Now for every quote that you give, we have to cite it with a hyperlink. And then for each quote, you have to explain why this information is important. So here, you could explain it next to the quote. You can decide to have the quote on the top and your explanation on the bottom. You can decide that there's too much words, too many words on the slide. You might decide to split it up into two different slides. That's perfectly okay. The most important is that you have three to four quotes that you're citing it with a hyperlink and you're explaining it. And it's in your own words. You can give your examples. You can give scenarios to explain it. You can give your own personal emotional testimony as to why that information is important. In between, you want to get uh, four to six pictures. And the best way to do this is to go online, look up some pictures, save the image as, put it in a particular file folder, 
okay save it there and then have a whole bunch of uh, pictures saved so that when you want to insert a picture let's say I want to insert a picture here insert picture then I can choose the pictures that I've already saved in that file folder and so that makes it a lot easier um, to select pictures you can spin them around you can insert more than one if you want it to you know you can have them overlap just make sure that if they're small pictures you don't blow them up so big that they become blurry okay so that's kind of important so this is what you're graded on, making sure you have quotes, citation of quote with a hyperlink, explanations, pictures, that it's arranged in a good way so that there's not enough information um, just all slammed on one slide, that you have it nice and spaced out, and that you have all the slide requirements in the bullets, which are all of this information here and in this order. Okay, so I hope that this really helped you get some sense of what to do and what not to do in uh, PowerPoint. And if you have any questions on it, you know you can always ask me. Thanks so much for watching.